It feels weird vlogging in English, but after seeing some of my friends earlier in the week, I was reminded that people I know actually like to watch my vlogs, and if I do them all in Spanish, then all my Australian friends and family will have no idea what I'm talking about. So if you're new here, hi, hello, welcome, my name is Maddie. My husband is Alejandro, hence Maddie and Ali. He's currently in Uruguay, and I'm currently in Australia, if you can tell by the change of scenery, I came down before Christmas and I will be here until the end of January. So I'm not sure when I'm gonna have this video edited and uploaded, but one of my new year's resolutions is to really pick up the slack on this channel because I know I've let it slide this last year with my business taking off. And again, very grateful for all of that, but I do want to prioritize video making and editing and uploading. So. Bear with me while I get back into the swing of things. But I spent Christmas here at my parents' house with my family. I actually got a little bit sick on Christmas day, but other than that, it was wonderful and exactly what I needed. I then went down to my sister's house in Kingston, which is about three and a half hours drive from where we live in the suburbs of Adelaide. So that was gorgeous. I'm not sure if I've already shown a little montage of my New Year's Eve on the beach camping or if I'm going to insert that footage after this, but it was not my first choice for New Year's, I'm not going to lie, but it was beautiful and exactly what I needed. But today, if you've been following along for a very long time, before we left Adelaide almost three years ago, Alejandro and I were living with my parents and we had a lot of stuff. My room downstairs was full of things. A lot, a lot of clothes, a lot of shoes, a lot of makeup, a lot of furniture. I had fully furnished that whole room out of my own paychecks and I had a lot of stuff essentially. So that has all been living in a storage locker for the last three years and my plan today is to drive down there, look at it all, load as many of the boxes as I can into my Nana's car and drive it home so I can go through the boxes, work out what is worth keeping and what is worth getting rid of because a lot has changed in the last three years and i'm sure my taste in fashion and accessories has probably also changed my body has changed i don't know if i'm gonna fit into all of it or even want to keep it so that is on the agenda today i was supposed to have an english class just before but my student just like didn't show up which i mean great it had gave me more time to do my makeup but whatever it is what it is i also have to go to marion the shopping mall and exchange money because i have this like 100 dollars us note because alejandro's family has always suggested to travel with a little bit of cash just in case something goes wrong with your cards worst case scenario you have some money to like buy food if you need to so i have this but i can't spend it in australia so i'm gonna go exchange this at the local mall which is different because in uruguay you can just go like so many different places and exchange money, but here you have to go specifically, like there's very few locations in Adelaide where you can go to exchange currency. Luckily, one of them is at my local mall and I can get it up there, but they kept being closed over Christmas and New Year's and then they close on the weekends. So this is my last chance to go before Monday because it's Friday right now. And now I'm rambling, so I'm gonna get in the car, which is also a new experience for me, but I'll tell you about that in a second. <laughs> This is the outfit of the day. My mom still has all her Christmas decorations up. I went over to my Nana's house yesterday and helped her take all hers down, but it is only like the fifth. And my parents have been staying in Port Elliot from last night and tonight. So maybe tomorrow when they get back, we can, we can think about putting away the Christmas tree. Also, my room is trashed as always, but it's also been converted into a pantry for my mom. So I'll show you that when we get home. I'm also loving having a recycling bin again. It really is the little things that make a big difference. But what I was trying to say before is I currently have my Nana's car because she has not really been driving that much lately. She actually 
kind of concerningly had a mini stroke about a week ago so that not a week ago this happened before christmas and that is very worrying the doctor did say she's clear to drive but i am going to take her to her doctor's appointment um later this afternoon but in the meantime i renewed my license yesterday finally i wasn't sure if i was going to do it on this trip because the minimum you can like pay for is a year and i'm only in town for another four weeks or it's going to be six weeks in total but paying for a full year of the license to only drive for four weeks just seemed like a bit ridiculous but turns out i can pay it's only like 42 dollars extra and then i can go into ria and purchase a international permit so then i will be able to use my australian driver's license in uruguay in which case the whole thing is worth it but otherwise it just wasn't worth it so that is the story of why i am now driving again for the first time in three years because i love to drive and i was a really good driver now i'm a cautious driver just because i'm re um getting familiar with the process but i love driving and i something i really want to do when we get back to uruguay is get well eventually my own car but get comfortable driving the combi van when we get it back from the mechanics but that's a story for another time so i'm gonna get driving turn the aircon on because it's like 30 degrees today and i am sweating but i only have yeah an hour and a half before my nana's appointment so i have to run to office works oh first i have to go to marion change the money then go to office works pick up my new planner and then go to my nana's house take her to a doctor's appointment take her back to her house and then go to the storage locker Money exchange and gift purchase. What's in my cup? This inner door I love. I'll never have enough. Keep on sipping till I'm drunk. This weed just has me up. It's five o'clock in the morning. And Shawty hit me up. She asking me what I'm doing. So we hit that blue flame. blue flame Now it's Friday and we going skating, skating. It's the weekend so you know we do that thing, do thing. Making bangers then we do it all again, all again. Yeah. I got that bread, she give me head She really wet, she know I like it Don't know you there, only see you here But I don't care, just like you naked Make it, make it, make it, can I make it, make it, make it. let's make it, break it, yeah. What's in my cup, this in a door I love, I'll never have enough, keep on sipping till I'm drunk, this weed just has me up, it's five o'clock in the morning, and shawty hit me up, she asking me what I'm doing, what's in my cup, this in a door I love, probably already 30 degrees it's like 11 30, i don't even know i started bringing the boxes down at 11 but it's probably like 11 40 by now because it took me 
a long time and of course I didn't even park I should have parked the car in the driveway so at least I didn't have to like that would have cut out one of the stages of my transportation but I'm not super confident in the car yet especially reversing downhill and around a corner so I figured I would just carry the boxes and most of them are not that heavy but I can only take one box at a time and it's just a lot of steps <laughs> so this is not all sweat I then went and watered the the garden and like cooled down the rabbit cage but I am gonna go for a swim now because I'm freaking like boiling and I already went for one swim this morning got my bikini on and did this and then I did a English class but my friend is maybe gonna come over later this afternoon for a swim and then tonight I'm going to um it was going to be friends hangout, but it's looking like it might end up being girls night hangout at uh, one of my friends' houses. So I want to try and get started on this ASAP because my parents will be back this afternoon. And while they're okay with me doing this, it would be nice for them to come home and me not have like 12 boxes stacked up in their living room. So time for a swim and then to sorting through all the boxes. So you don't love my decorating of the house? Uh, no. Yeah. It was less. The, the photos are done though. That, the, the table is equally as messy but with different things. Isn't that fun? Yeah, they were in that big heavy box that was up the top of the stairs and there's no way I'm going to be able to carry it down the stairs so I was taking heavy things out of the box to take them down the stairs. Yeah, they're not fussy enough anymore. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yes. So not too bad then. How does it taste? No, no. How does it taste? Do they taste okay though? Yeah. It's fine. Not the best, not the worst. This party is actually one of the main reasons I wanted to be in Australia for all of January and I'm so glad I managed to come and spend all this time with my friends and family. I didn't actually film that many more talking clips but I wanted to include all this footage anyway because I just had the best time with my friends and family and also how could I not show off the beautiful aesthetic kangaroos in my backyard. On the 16th I went down to the beach to try to get some cute photos in this skirt for my brand but the wind was crazy. It was supposed to be a really hot day but then the wind just picked up out of nowhere and this happened. So shortly after that I actually left the beach and headed over to my Nana's house again because I was trying to spend as much time with her as possible while I was in Adelaide. That's where I'm going to leave this vlog for today. I do have more footage but I will edit a second vlog and post that hopefully next week sometime. If you've made it this far into the video, comment below a kangaroo emoji so I know you've watched the whole thing. And if you like this style of vlog or want to see more videos like this, please hit the thumbs up button. It really helps more people to find this video and this channel. And if you want to see more about my life as an Australian living overseas and all the fun adventures to come this year, be sure to subscribe. It's the easiest way to support your favorite creators for free. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you next week. Bye. Lazy Sunday mornings hiding under covers. I don't mind staying in with you play your favorite movie play in my